Hello and welcome to Simnation Labs. My name is Jan, and today I'm going to show you some stuff in Universe Sandbox 2. Uh, the purpose of Simnation Labs is for us to run experiments in various games and kind of see what happens and keep you informed and keep you entertained, of course. Um, what we are doing today is discussing what happens if the Earth had two suns. Now, we all know Earth has one sun, right? It's in the center of a solar system, everything orbits it. But, there are solar systems which have two suns. So, what do you think would happen if we had two suns? Now, here is our main sun, it's called Sun. Uh, we are just quickly going to change it to Sun M. It's called Main Sun. Right. And then we are going to add a second sun. Now, this is such a lovely system that um, it works so well and it's so easy to add suns uh, or to add any objects to the game. Um, as you see, it shows the track the sun will take, and it isn't exactly proportional. Now, I did maybe place these two slightly close to, to each other, um, but it should still work perfectly fine. I'm going to rename this one to Sun A, um, so Main Sun and Auxiliary Sun. Uh, sun M currently uh, doesn't have an orbit. Oh, it has. It has Sun A, and Sun A has Sun M. Um, and we need to change the relative body of this one to Jupiter, so that they both have the same um, relative body. Oh wait, I can't do that. Uh, there was an update in the game since I last played it, so yeah. We are now going to unpause and actually see what happens to our solar system now that it has two suns. Now the suns, as you see, are starting to spiral out of control. And the Earth and all the objects are spiraling away. Venus is still trying to catch up um, and I'm guessing Venus is gonna be the one that's just gonna go in and around it in this kind of zigzaggy way um, because they're still attracting it. Mercury was shot off. Uh, Mars doesn't is doesn't have an orbital planet anymore neither does the Earth. Uh, Venus, 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 Venus isn't actually on the hot part down here. Oh dear. So let's go to Venus. Uh, it, its orbital parent is Sun M, so Venus will continue to spiral. These two aren't stationary, I should have made them stationary. Should have turned on posi position lock for these two, or at least for one of them. So we are going to reset this. There's a simple button that does reset, just resets the experiment. Uh, quickly change this one to some Sun M again. Um, and then we're gonna position lock this one. Um, and we are going to add... I keep umming. Shouldn't do that. Um, sun A into it. Which we are going to rename into Sun A. Um, as we see, Sun M is its orbital parent and the relative body is Venus. Well, this one orbital parent is Sun A, but it's position locked. So now we have two sun, a sun orbit, one sun orbiting our other sun, which is causing some problems in our solar system, as we can see. Mercury was just shut off, so was Mars. Venus is still orbiting, and so is the Earth. Now the Earth's temperature is rising, and then falling again. You can actually go, actually, let me center on Earth, because I only clicked it. Center on Earth, we, could, we, we will now be following Earth around for a little bit. Um, and I'm gonna half speed this up. You, 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 Earth, you're going too fast. As we see, some changes happened. A lot of the sea evaporated. Now these are the deep parts of the sea. We see there's not a lot of uh, flora anymore. Especially not in Africa, which was, you know, there's supposed to be a lot of flora over here. Almost no flora left in anywhere, honestly. The polar caps have melted. And Earth becomes this desolate planet. 
for a part of the year. Very little water left. It evaporated. We can see that if we look at the climate, um, actually if we look at materials, there's very little water, very little hydrogen, a lot of silicates and irons, and no organics anymore. They are all gone now. This part over here clearly states otherwise, but oh well. Um, the atmosphere is still around, there's still some surface pressure, but um, the greenhouse effect is very high and it doesn't really work. Now Mars on the other hand is here as well. Now we can actually, if I click somewhere over here, <laughs> this gives me the chart, we don't need the chart, we want the standard view, the standard view is better. Um, there is a option to add uh, or rather show the Goldilocks zone. So I'm just quickly going to find it. Because the Goldilocks zone, Goldilocks zone, for those that you don't know, is the area um, around the sun or in a solar system where life is possible. Um, is the setting in here? I know that there's, there's the setting somewhere in here. I, I played with it not that long ago. Um, we can shoot bodies, we don't want to shoot bodies. We don't want to edit bodies either. It's, we have... Th th this game is so awesome. So many options. Uh, but there, there is a Goldilocks zone option which uh, is under view. <laughs> Naturally. Uh, show, 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 show. Oh, those are shadows, velocity lines, simulation, ambience. Those are ambiences. Now, these give you so many options on planets. It's not... Oof, oof, oof. And this video is going way, way long. Um, labels, grid, icons, trails, orbits. We don't need the orbits. Habitable zones, there we go. Flat. See how the habitable zone around, around this our suns changed? Now, original habitable zone um, originally Earth orbits in this kind of period around, in this habitable zone, slightly so towards the inner part of it, and Mars orbits towards the outer part of it. As you see, the orbits of these planets changed, so Mars is currently is in the habitable zone, but it has a very small atmosphere. You can increase the atmosphere, decrease the atmosphere, and stuff like that. But that is the habitable zone of uh, the suns. It, this isn't the most realistic, because suns two suns of these magnitude would always be orbiting each other, so one would be going around each other in this kind of bizarre H-shaped pattern. And they would spiral out, as we saw, because they would increase each other's velocity. Um, some planets were not as affected, like the outer planets aren't as affected by this change, but the inner planets definitely are. For example, we saw Mercury shoot off, because it was too close, and uh, the gravitational velocity, it just slingshotted it out. Um, sadly, but we do still have some of the planets. Earth and Venus would collide eventually, so probably Mars and Earth. Um, and we can all see that in another video, what happens when stuff collides into Earth. Um, but for that, that is it. Um, actually, no. You know what? We're going to do one more. We're going to reset the experiment again, and we're going to do one more. Because we did the suns orbiting each other in the center, the sun, one, the auxiliary sun orbiting the main sun in the center, which we are going to rename to Sun M again. Um, but we didn't do uh, sun, another sun on the outside. Right? So we're going to rename this into Sun A. And its orbital parent is Sun M. And we're just going to run the simulation and see what happens. This one isn't position locked. And it just continues going. Everything goes fine. It isn't even moving, actually. Where did I place it? Right over here. Does it have any velocity? Let's check. It should tell us our, its velocity. Total velocity. Yeah, it's moving very, very slowly. Very, very slowly. But it is moving. Um, we can again view the habitable zones, uh, if they've changed. I doubt they have. This should just be a thing. Um, 
that's the habitable zone of this sun. Right? This sun has a very small habitable zone. While this sun... I mean, they have the same habitable zone. But, this one doesn't... It doesn't... It isn't affected by the other one. So, I think it has an orbital pattern. It is orbiting. These two are orbiting each other. But very, very slowly. Um, and so it doesn't affect our solar system. Technically, this one could have its own solar system. They are very close, but then collisions would get in the way and things would change. Uh, I'm afraid I can't just add the solar system. It doesn't work that way. I would have to set it up in advance. Um, but that is definitely something we should check out in the future. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of labs video. Um, I'll do more of these, I'll try to do as many of these as I can, but this was kind of a short, quick one. Um, if you have any ideas or suggestions on how to improve these, I am definitely up to those. And until next time, bye bye Oh, this is the most satisfying thing ever. We are God in SimCity 4. Wow, that was loud. <laughs> oh, you're gonna eat that, huh? You're gonna eat it. I see. What? Nothing. Okay. And now she is tossing that salad with her... Stop sticking your finger in your ear! Alright, she's tossing the salad with her earwax. It does. Yeah. It does. <laughs> it does it really well. Okay. Oh, they're coming for you, I... Pablo! Shit, Run! Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, just road trips, man, are killing me. Anyway, let me know whenever we are recording. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Extended Play. I'm your host, this is Stuart, and that is a fancy, fancy sign. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.